G'day folks, welcome to Big VTV. Great to have you with us. 2013 season, not too far away. Very and close now. Very close, and some new teams, some new clubs coming into the competition, especially VYC. Yeah. Yep. Knox Raiders we're talking about this time around. Yep. The youngsters out there in the uh, VYC men and women. Pretty proud club, a lot of tradition behind Absolutely. them. Got a bit of a soft spot for the Raiders, I do, having worked. Yeah at Knox for four years. Mm. Yep. There's okay. quite a few people at this table that may have worked there yeah. over yeah. the years. Yeah. How do we think they're going to go into the competition? Because they do produce a lot of good young talent. Mm. I think they'll be all right. Yeah, I think they'll I think they'll, uh, you know, bring some good kids into the competition. Well, I think well, the hardest thing is just where they are at from a development think, viewpoint at the moment. Which well, we if you know. go on, you know, their dear league results of the past, you know, little while, uh, they're, they're a perennial finals team. Uh, and they're, they're usually there, they're about some um, when it comes when you know the last game of the season's are up for grabs. So you know, I, I think it would be you know unfair to say they wouldn't be there. I think. Sorry, I was going to say I think you are on the same thing. What I'm about to say, I think their men have undergone a bit of change from last year to this year though. Yep. Yeah. Look, having spoken to the people at Knox, I think they've put a renewed emphasis on bringing up their juniors mm -hmm. through you know from their domestic to their junior rep now up into their good team. So they're probably going to have uh, younger teams than what they've had. Um, the past couple of seasons, that may or may not affect the results with you know some of their babies coming up into their teams. But you know that's the point of having a youth program yeah. for development. You know the, the aim for Knox has to be that those kids eventually go up and play in their Seagull side. So you know if their results drop off a bit, that's okay because they are pushing as we're about to see some of those kids up, yeah. and that's that's yeah. the point of it. So VYC women, uh, Robbie Baldwin is coaching that mm -hmm. team. Robbie's well, he's had a long association with Knox. He, yeah. he went off and did some other things for a while, but he's Thanks, been back there the last yep. few years, yep. uh, last couple of years, especially coaching in juniors. So. Uh, he had this team last oh, season, he yes, did. Uh, so he's coaching again. Uh, some new players, young man, and there's Certainly a few is. there. Yeah, a lot, of, uh, a lot of juniors coming through, which is great. Taylor Lee, Sonia Dorito, Jesse Hunt. Sonia Dorito, I think, may have made the under-16 state team last year. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Uh, Millie Ivanov. Ivanov, Ivanov yeah. Tia. 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 Tia Hay. Is that Oh, okay. Kathy, who played for Western Board a couple of years ago. What's well, Mrs. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yep. And uh, Sophie Tarabolsi, who's a Danny on Rangers kid, has come over. And uh, Emily Shills, the, the, the sole departed, uh, sole departed, um, <laughs> the only departed player, um, Emily Shills. She's uh, playing in uh, a Division One NCAA and she's, and she's, she's, well, she's yeah. killing it. She how, did they, how did they go in D League last season, the women? Well, I think they might have been in a, in a grand final. I think they were up there. Yeah, if they weren't, that was pretty close. Well and truly. Always, always a strong team. But, you know, as we said, with these uh, kids all coming through, making up um, a big chunk of the, their side for 2013, we'll, we'll be interested to see how they go. Let me tell you, Robbie Baldwin's a very good coach. Yeah, You'll Baldwin's get the best out of him. And, no and Robbie Baldwin doesn't stuff around. No. So this team's going to be competitive. And disciplined. I've got no doubt that they're long. going to be competitive. And for mine, uh, in the conference system, they're going to make finals. Oh, no Without question. doubt, they've no got a question. massive pool of players to draw from. Yeah. They're the, you know, them and Kilsyth have the fight every year for who's the biggest association. Yeah. So, you know, the talent pool there is endless, yes. and uh, great to see them pushing these group of young kids up. Yeah. So, based on that, can I just be devil's advocate for a second? Sophie Tarabolsi comes in from Dandenong. We're talking about a big pool of players at Knox. Yeah. Is there a connection there with Knox? Has she had family there in the past, or not sure? I can't maybe. Couldn't do it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I think it, it's no different to we talk about the clubs down on the peninsula. You know, there is that yeah. the odd player that these, sort of swaps. Around. These associations, yeah. let's yeah. face it, are very close together. Well, the one thing we don't yeah. know is Sophie Terrabolsi coming from Dandenong Rangers. She could actually be coming across into their under-18 program. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. She could be yeah. playing juniors. Yeah. We don't yep. know that. <laughs> so VYC women at Knox Rose, I think we all agree finals for sure. Yes. See them yep. there, no problem. Yep. Yep. Absolute title contender. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I can't see why not. Why do we know? We don't. It's a it's completely different competition. A, a couple of the juniors I know from having coached games in domestic and they're pretty sharp, so I think mm -hmm. they'll yeah. be thereabouts. I don't reckon we'll be too far away. Let's have this conversation after the opening round. Okay. We have yeah. some days. Speaking yeah. of the opening round, <coughs> a really good segue. The yeah. opening round is going to be exciting out at Frankston. Frankston. Yep. And it's round one of VYC. Yes, running in conjunction with the tournament on the 9th and 10th of March. First game tips off at 9am on the Saturday and we'll go through to the 
pretty late on the Saturday night and straight up again on the Sunday morning. Back to back to Can back we, to back to back to bring bean bags? Can we sort of set up bean bags? There's plenty of seating, don't we? Can we, bean bags? Can we show oh, court? Yeah. Show, yeah. show court, get your $8 ticket, you can sit there and have 14 hours <coughs> per day of continual VYC. Now well, that's value that for the money. Bean bags are very comfortable. They are. I'm <laughs> sure if everyone brought their bean bags, surely that's allowed. Now, probably not enough room. It's a show court, there's seating. I don't think you need them. I just, to, I just want to see if someone turns up with a bean bag now, that'd be very funny. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about it. <laughs> VYC men for the yeah. Raiders. Uh, Scotty Christensen is the coach. Let's talk about the new players. Beth, there you go. Thank you. Uh, Tom Burke. Mar Tom, raw, 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 sorry. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, my bad. bad. Close <laughs> Marek Tommen. Um, yep. Abraham Noyok. Noyok. Okay, um, Tim Malloy Lee. Jake Solomon, Salmon, Salmon, Salmon. Oh, I'm terrible. You're struggling. Yeah, I'm yeah. really doing bad. <laughs> Aaron Rashid, is that right? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, what's the what's the bet that Jake Sabin's nickname is Fish or something like that? It actually is. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It actually. Yeah. I can tell you, categorically, his name is Fish. You've had it, you know, you can't. I have. That guy's a great player. Then Dean, jo <laughs> Dean Johnson, uh, no longer with the there. team. And Taylor Dyson's gone over to college in the states. Hart University of Hartford. Doing well. Yeah. Well. How yeah. did they go last yeah. season? The Raiders. Raiders, injury, uh, yeah. the Raiders finished on top of the ladder with an 18 and three record. Mm -hmm. They. Um, well, the D-League final was 1v4, 2v3, and they did lose to Sandringham in that first week. Okay. Um, but they had an outstanding season. Um, <clears throat> Here's the unknown for me. Yep. They've only listed down two players having gone from a team that was top of the table mm -hmm. after the home and away season in D-League. From all reports, their pre-season form hasn't been flash. Yep. They've, they've copped a few losses. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't know whether they're playing their full group, their no, best group, whether they're bringing the kids actually, in, they've run. I think they may have pushed up some of those players um, full time into their seat. They're standing out. Okay, which yeah. is the point you know, of having yeah. a development program. Yeah. So they put on them for doing that. As we said earlier, that might affect their results a bit this year, but they've got that next young lot of kids coming through. Practice games, grand assault. Don't we'll mean see, anything. We'll see where we go. Don't mean anything. So what do we think? Uh, obviously a very good team in D-League last season. VYC. A finalist will they make the top four in their conference? The <coughs> Maybe not this year. Ooh. Yeah, no, I tend to agree. Ooh. Maybe not. Only because they're having such a massive rebuild. Absolutely commend them on the stance they're taking on trying to get the kids going through. If they held on to all of their kids um, that are eligible to play youth, if they yeah. held them back, they'd probably win a title. But is it about that or is it getting the next generation through to see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing. Good on them. Yeah, and okay. they may take a hit this year because of it. but. It doesn't matter to me, it's all about the future. Question without notice. No. <laughs> and I'll be pretty impressed if you can rattle them all off, but who's in their conference? Oh, they're no. mixed everywhere. Go Sorry on. about that. Yeah, no, look, yeah, but, but on that, considering there's eight teams that get that make finals, eight teams make finals, I think uh, I think they'll get in there. I think they'll make finals for me. I think that's as far as I'll go. Yep. In the finals, but they I'll say I think they'll make finals. finals. Yep. No. Oh, three, two, there we go. So there's the Knox Raiders. Best of luck to the Raiders. Good to have them in the competition. VYC. Looking forward to seeing how they shape up in season 2013. Counting down the days, the big VTV crew. Which club's coming up next? Sit back and find out soon.